Hello! I think now it can work. Let's check, we tried to connect before. And we'll see if I can now invite people on the live streaming. We, are, we wanna talk about Instagram today. And we tried to connect before, but Facebook is not being very friendly today. So we'll see if I can see people and if I can... So let me know if you can see me. I can't see the comments or anyone watching this. Well, I'm gonna introduce myself in the meantime. I'm Gloria and I'm running nomadictica.com. I started with the vlog five years ago almost and then soon I, I joined also to Instagram and now we wanna share some tips and some views about the platform and we can see if we can live stream with Julia. I don't know if it's working now. If you are able to see this, can you let me know? We tried to connect before and she tried to invite me, but it was not working. And now I'm, we are trying to do the opposite. And now, let's check if this is working now. Um, mm -hmm. We tried to do it before, like Julia inviting me to do this, but I can't also invite back. It's kind of tricky. Mm. Uh, I guess it's because of all the hate we're giving on Facebook these days. <laughs> now it's giving this hate back to us. Because I know I'm live streaming, someone is watching, but I can't even see who is it or, or see a list of this. I can only add viewers and invite people to view the video, but that's it. And I can't invite you either. My God. I don't have a list of people inviting. I don't know what's happening with this streaming now. It was working so good before. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm so sorry for this because we were super excited to share all this um i could do a, like a monologue and just talk it will be more boring but we could also do that <laughs> and i can't even see who is watching <laughs> is it i guess it's you julio but we'll see um All right, um, Facebook is on Friday mode too, I guess. So I wanted to share with you my, my views and my experience nowadays with Instagram, what's working, what's not, and oh yeah! To work. Yay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, oh my god. So <laughs> oh my 
god okay so this um was difficult and i really don't know why i mean i couldn't uh, i couldn't even okay are you there okay let me hear this is so nice finally weird <laughs> i see i see you okay perfect Let's just forget about the, the trouble and um, I'm trying to get this um, selfie stick to work and then I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> and let's just dive into Instagram because that's what we're all here for. Thanks for doing this. I mean, thanks for starting the live. Thanks for joining us today. And um, oops. so oops. Um, you, ha you already introduced yourself. You're Gloria from Nomadic Chica and um, yeah. you are a travel blogger and um, obviously also you're on uh, Instagram. So how, are you f how do you feel about Instagram? Uh, because everyone is just crying and frustrated and uh, how do you feel about it? <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking about this, uh, out, like my, how, how my story on Instagram have changed. Because when I started my, my blog, I started five years ago. And like a year later, I started, or a bit, a bit after starting the blog itself, I started with Instagram. And I was on the road, I was traveling, and it was the way to share my, my photography okay. and to show it to more people. And to me, it was, since the beginning, just um, a community and a way to to know more people to see others works and it was like such an opening to me like I was seeing really really good photographers and it was just so much fun and and I thought uh, I, I went back after a two-year trip back to Chile so I had to like reset everything and I was there super bored and frustrated not not able to travel and And there I found uh, the local InstaMeet community in, in Santiago. Okay. And it was so much fun. For like two years, we were organizing InstaMeets, and, and the community was so big and vibrating. And it was different people, travelers reaching Santiago. They were joining us. We were doing some stuff in, in cities around. Mm -hmm. And it was just passionate people. Uh, sharing their their passion for photography basically so, so you actually met them in person yeah 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 we were we were bringing the 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 online community to reality and it was okay <laughs> so i was i was um organizing the these meetings with the um, this already formed group of people and they were all awesome they were it was a group of teams they were featured by instagram Okay. So they were big at that moment. They were having 60k followers, and to me, it was like, whoa, like okay. who is this people? And and they were super open. They were willing to share with me their experience, and I've learned so much. But we became friends also. Okay. So to me, the the starting on on Instagram itself, it was just fun and and like a really really good experience with friends I have now. Okay. So um... I, feel, I feel now, uh, this, especially this year, it's, it's been changing a lot. Mm. Now, uh, yeah, the, with all the, um, there's so many people trying to make money on this. And, and they, they have been so many changes in the algorithm and all these things we know and we hate, I guess. Uh, it's been more challenging to reach um, an engagement and a real audience, I feel. Like, I, I take my stats and I take the people who interact with my accounts and it's way less, it feels less real. Yeah. I, I think I, that has to do something that so many people uh, had actually a big success on Instagram. I mean, we hear all those stories about those influencers that get invited to five-star hotels just to take a picture in their, in their jacuzzis and um, all these <laughs> stories, success stories might lead to that um, different picture that people now have of, of the platform. Do you think that has to do something with it? Yeah, and I, and I guess it's, it's, it's everyone's fault at the same time because also brands are still learning about this most of 
big marketing brands, they are not really, really, really focused on engagement and real, like the realness of the accounts. And yeah. I've even heard from from people I know, they've been told like, why you just don't buy more followers so I can invite you to this trip, for example. Like, and it's, uh -huh. like so it okay. is happening. And, and when you see brands are paying you when you have more, more followers, and I guess there are so many people, like it's their only platform and they say, well, if it's gonna bring me more money, I'll maybe do it. But yeah. well, to me personally, I, I don't I don't feel like doing that because it's it's fake and it's not real and well it's not it's my main social media account but my main platform is my blog it's my own platform so that's where I I make money basically. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, and it's it's very short sighted. Uh, everyone who's really really um, interested in 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 actual results will check if your followers are fake or not and um and also um i've tested it on, on one of the accounts um that i'm running and uh actually if you buy followers the the same amount that i bought because i wanted to see how how that works and mm -hmm. i mean i wanted to have an opinion on it and and this i i think i bought 500 followers or was it a thousand no 500 followers and um the, the same amount of uh, people were gone within the next month or even less <laughs> i think three weeks it doesn't even last that long so mm. um yeah no <laughs> it's, worth it. and it's, it's really pointless and there was no engagement whatsoever and um and re uh, really weird not even related to to the topic and uh so no it doesn't make sense at all i guess at the end is is something very personal how your moral and your values related to that are but but like it's sad to say but how i see it it really not it's really not very important because it's in in brands some of them they are not paying attention to this so yeah uh, like big numbers are like in the, in the in the screen it's what it's mattering and so yeah it's but, sad well, to see so i i see i see now less this community feeling than than before it's like for example i want to follow i want to i want to see my feed the people i i really connect and they're my friends or people i know and now you can't even follow your own friends or like to choose who's yeah. first on your on your on your feed and it's like this sense of of communication i think is is less every day but yeah. it is what it is so you gotta adapt <laughs> so do you have like um are you still spending a lot of time on the gram <laughs> or uh have you reduced it a little bit i am spending less time way less time than before i'm still engaging a lot like what the things i i try to keep and i see they are working is posting more constantly but the idea will be still sharing once per once per day but it's hard to keep it yeah and uh, that's my goal <laughs> but, but i see i notice the difference when when between posting daily or twice a week for example the engagement yeah. is lower yeah. and everything is just slower the account itself yeah so now this week i'm focusing on getting back to the daily post okay <laughs> and and yeah like keeping the um, reply to every comment to every dm and just keeping it active and real and but i i spend less time visiting others accounts or less than like like i was spending before for example like if you if you can estimate um how much time per day do you spend for engagement or it's average like an hour per day 40 minutes okay. one hour yeah but that's that's still something i mean yeah but when I started, I started from zero and I was spending half my day, maybe like okay. just taking other <laughs> accounts and chatting or it was a lot more, okay. but it's how, how I grew the account the, the first year, like almost 10 K I think was the first year. Now it's been super slow. Yeah. <laughs> but, 
but yeah i mean that's how it goes that's what all the social platforms also want from you they want you to be on 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 their platforms and they reward you because it's um yes obviously their their aim to have as many active users as possible so exactly. it's, it's all about the numbers it's really it's really <laughs> about that um so if you can um give a few tips like you're posting pictures um not every day but uh, do you do stories as as much or yeah i do stories i, I love them and love that's them. where i see the most interaction is through the stories and where i notice people really follow your story like there i share the most silly stuff super daily things like now i'm learning german and i posted all the frustrations i'm following <laughs> today i got the the results of the test and i got so many comments oh congratulations i made it and it's this community feeling is more on the stories than on the feed itself okay. and yeah like what i what i feel on on instagram is or as in any other platform is just try to keep it real and keep it personal like not mm -hmm. copying others because you see they have more likes or more followers and i try to keep it like keep my own voice there in my own personal style of editing pictures and focusing on quality definitely and from what you just said i take it that you're not only post posting um, or um uh, yeah, posting in your in your stories about travel. So it's also just about everything, random stuff from your life. <laughs> also a bit, yeah. It's like the things I don't share in other in any other social media, and I post them on the stories. Okay. And um, yeah, like people like to see the real part of you too, not just the perfect picture or the already super edited blog post you yeah. work for five days uh, and yeah. I, I, no. I absolutely agree. I think that's actually key to, to success. Uh, we're, we're all a, bit, a little bit saturated or a little bit tired of uh, those polished brands that are um, all the, the TV stars. So uh, Instagram and also Facebook. I mean, uh, those plat platforms are actually great to, to see real people and um, re real life stories. And that's what everyone's apparently after. And uh, the more real you are, the more successful. So yeah, absolutely. Um, cool. So if you if you could give someone um, some advice, advice if um, someone who just starts out has zero followers and um, no, I think that's boring. Let's do the other <laughs> thing. Someone who's stuck, who has been on the ramp for five years and is still below 1000 followers, what would be your uh, advice? <laughs> <laughs> that's usually the advice I get asked for, for from friends or from colleagues and I would say first have clear what's your goal on the platform what you are okay. aiming for what what do you want to grow the numbers mm -hmm. because it's gonna take effort and it's gonna take time so I would say first you should have clear why you are doing it okay and the second is uh, have a clear theme. Like if it's travel, keep it to travel. If it's food, keep it to food. Or if it's a family uh, feed, keep it topic related. Because there's so many options out there that we get lost. Like even myself, I, I, I started to see on my feed that like I love, I'm, I'm a travel blogger, but I'm also foodie and I love food. But when I share food pictures on my feed, no one likes them. No one comments it because people are following me for the destinations and they search inspiration on this. So I started another account just to share the food. It's mo okay. mostly for fun for me because I want to post them. <laughs> 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 I'm not working on that one as hard as I work on this one. It's just for the fun because I want to. But is it as successful? Food. No, not. Not really. I'm not even posting so constantly, but I, I, I have this feeling, this need of sharing it sometimes. <laughs> and, but it was always frustrating because I was putting it on the on my normal gallery, and it was like the the average likes were maybe 800 for a picture, and the foods were getting 100 or 200. <laughs> it was like hmm, maybe it's 
people don't like to see this on my feet. <laughs> That's a hint. <laughs> Clear sign. So, yeah, so I would say that's a very important thing, like just keep it a focus and try to post quality pictures. Don't don't post something if it's not a good image, you are proud of it. And Absolutely. and try to keep a, an editing style if you're editing the pictures a bit. I don't super edit them, I just put them on Lightroom a bit and and I post pictures from my camera most of the times. Mm -hmm. um, and I try to keep a similar editing style, but okay. I don't oh, like, I don't do it as good as other Instagrammers. They have like a whole palette of colors. Yeah. Uh, I, it's not my style. I'm too diverse. Like. <laughs> yeah, but uh, whatever works for for you. I mean, uh, I think yeah. that's all very important don't don't um try to imitate someone else's style if it's not exactly. resonating with your personality that well again that would be fake and people actually i think they they would notice so yeah it's good, it's good. i guess there are, there are people for everything like um you see like some really big account with super edited oh. pictures or and wow a slider <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm just sorry. This has nothing to do with Instagram, but I'm sitting outside on my uh, porch, um, not on my porch, actually on, on a neighbor's porch. I'm here because, well, and there's no light. And now I'm oh. just turning on the screen light from my computer because I feel like I'm getting so dark. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that was, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, um... sorry, I uh, tips for someone growing and well as we were talking before uh, spend more time on it try to post every day try to spend more time check new accounts interact with them uh, make some genuine and real comments on their feeds mm -hmm. but oh like that's a good shot <laughs> but it's like in any other social media uh, be there and be present it's like the way of growing it do you um ha or do you or have you worked with um, brands or have brands approached you? I'm sure they have. Do you any yeah, collaborations? Yeah. yeah. Is that something um, you actively do and where you also earn your money, or is it just? Yeah. Well, when most of the times when I work for a from a, with a brand. For um, like I know they just they wanna they want me to feature them on my gallery is it's paid, and yeah. the prices are discussed according the requirements and my own, but also lots of the um, of this year at least on Instagram has been from press trips, okay. Also, yeah. so working with destinations, so no, not everything this year has been directly paid. But it has been also from uh, sponsored trips and and stuff. But I will say more most of the sponsor stuff and paid gigs I do on the blog. On the blog, okay. Yeah. But um. My account is is twenty five k. It's not that big for like this moment where brands just approach you and so I work I work with very specific brands with destinations with the uh, brands I'm working in other fields and then we add Instagram as a okay. add-on yeah okay interesting and um would you like um have a general recommendation like as a final recommendation because um uh, I think uh, I have to wrap it up now. <laughs> I have to go back to my little one. But uh, if you if you can say something for people for uh, 2019, should they be uh, ditching the, the gram or simply keep going and hoping for the better? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> um, I hope it's uh, changing for better for us the ones posting content constantly. Um, but I'll say, like, personally, I've, I've been thinking on this and how it's been changing, especially this year, for example. And mm -hmm. if, if you like to share your work, 
and and Instagram is visually is is the main platform for sharing just your photography and or or videos, but very directly with people. So if your goal is not just growing and having more numbers and more likes and and that's your main goal, yeah. If it's not that, I'll say yeah. Like just we'll keep posting. I'll keep posting and I'll keep sharing and and doing it. like I love I love the stories like I have so much fun <laughs> adding yeah. the, the gifts and everything like as as everything like if it's getting something stressing you and and you're suffering with this I'll yeah like I'll, I'll evaluate <laughs> why <laughs> why doing it but it's as, as in everything else like doing it if you like it if it's making you pleasure of course, it's gonna be work and time, but keep doing it if you, if you like it. That's, I think I think that's a a, a very um, a very good point. I mean, if you're not passionate about uh, something, uh, it will eventually run out anyways, and it will show in the results. So, yes, people, um, thank you, Gloria. That was uh, very interesting, and thanks for sharing your your tips and and insights and. Uh, for more tips about Instagram, um, I said it before, but uh, that was in the other video that didn't work. Uh, I just hit publish to my first ebook. It's a social media marketing guide. So there are also more Instagram tips um, from also other people and myself. Uh, check it out. I pinned the post in the group's di um, discussion. Just look for the announcement and it's a, currently a 20% uh, discount on it. So if you're really curious about how to be successful on social media, then uh, you should check it out. And um, Gloria, I hope we see you around. Um, we will be back in Germany. How long will you be in Germany for? I'm, I'm living in Germany. I'm based in Germany now. You are? Last okay. Home. Yeah. We'll have to catch <laughs> up. Um, I'm from Germany, so maybe... Oh, good. Yes, <laughs> and my, my, my partner is actually life. from Philly, so... Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> you were invited yeah. here and yes. uh, for yes. welcoming to the group also, so yeah, we'll see each other Perfect. around. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great weekend, and thank you again, Gloria, for sharing everything. Thank and um, Yes, have a nice evening. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you have to end it. That's yeah, I have to end it. <laughs> <laughs> so you used to...